Spice fam, welcome back to Christmas with Spice Island Cooking. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Today I will be showing you how I make a traditional grenade and ginger beer according to my mom. I am making it the way I would have seen her made it uh, growing up as a child. So you don't want to skip this video. Also, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Put on your post notification bell so you don't miss each time I upload. I want to say thank you so much for supporting us for the last couple of years that we have been on YouTube. Your support means a lot to us and we don't take it for granted. On that note, we want to say Merry Christmas to each of you and let's get into the video. Here I have about two pounds of ginger that I got from the market and I'm just going to start off with the ginger and as I go along I will show you the other ingredients we will be needing for our ginger beer. First let us start prepping the ginger. So we will start off by washing out the ginger. Once the ginger is clean, I will go ahead and use my knife to scrape it off or scrape off the skin of the ginger. And this is very important because the skin could be a bit bitter, so you want to make sure that you remove the skin. So I will go ahead and do that and then come back to show you the next step. Now that I'm finished scraping the ginger, this is the skin I will remove shortly, but this is what the ginger looks like. And next I will just go ahead and give it a good rinse just to make sure that it's nice and clean. So our ginger is all done and we are going to next move on to the next part. We are next going to put some water to boil and of course you can add in some spices such as clove and bay leaf but I, I am not going to be adding in any at this point and while that is happening we are moving back to the ginger. So we are going to grate the ginger. Now the ginger can be blended as well but I just prefer to grate the ginger. So I will go ahead and grate the ginger and once it's done I will come back to show you what we are going to be doing next. Don't forget to comment below and let me know how you also make your ginger beer. Here is the ginger all nicely grated and y'all I actually did grate my hands a couple times because yeah I wasn't very careful enough. So you want to be careful that when you are grating <laughs> your ginger you don't grate your hand all right but this is what it looks like i will just leave it here until the water is finished boiling and then we are going to move on so as you can see our water is boiling it has been boiling a little boil for about a couple of minutes or so just to make sure it's really hot and next what we are going to do is pour it into the ginger also to the ginger we are adding in some lime peel and that is how my mom make it traditionally now i know that different people make it differently so you can always comment below and let us know how you make your gingerbread so next we're going to pour in the hot water also you want to be extremely careful when you are doing this because it's extremely hot as you can see i'm just pouring it on top the uh now you can use a glass bowl but I'm just going to use this uh, big wash one that is in. Yeah, I'm just doing it like that. It's extremely hot, y'all. Oh, I think I did it wrong. Yeah, let me just remove this from here. Guys, you want to be so careful with this. It's hot. All right, it's very hot. So I'm just going to pour the rest of this in here. And I'm going to allow it to, ooh, this is going to be very strong. So you're going to make it based on the strength of the ginger beer, how hot you want it or how, uh, you know, not too hot you want it. So I'm just going to leave this to sit for roughly 10 minutes to draw out all the flavors. And then I will come back to show you the next step. And also don't mind the stuff inside here. That's bits and pieces of the, uh, the ginger. That's fine. We're going to strain it. So 
we have no issue. All right, so after the 10 minutes, I will come back. This is what a ginger beer looks like. And the last minute, what I did was that I add in some cloves because I was like, mm, I really should have added in the clove when I was boiling the water, but I was not um, going to. But last minute, I decided to add that in. And it actually did pop the flavor. So you may want to do that, you know, make it nice and uh, delicious. So this is going to be, it will have some heat, but it's not very, it's hot, but it's, it's still bearable. All right, so you can leave the ginger beer as long as you want it overnight if you like it really strong. But anyhow, we are going to go ahead and strain. So here I have a large uh, glass bowl and I have here my strainer. And I'm just going to uh, just strain it out like this. Ooh, girl. Look at that. Mm, it's going to be so good. This is going to be so Look at that, guys. You see this? Mm, mm, mm. So you want to make sure that you get everything out there. Every single thing. And then what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to take a spoon, a big spoon, and I'm just going to uh, press it like this to get all the juices out. You all, this is going to be strong. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so this is how mine came out. All right. So as I said, uh, the you know, the longer you leave it, as a matter of fact, is the more stronger it gets. So it depends on your level of strength in terms of your ginger beer. So I think that's it. And next what I am going to do is to sweeten. All right, so here I have some brown sugar and I'm just going to throw that in. I like to use brown sugar because brown sugar brings all the flavor. I'm just going to add in a little bit of lime juice as well. Now this is actually optional again. So you do it to suit you, like how you would make it and all of that. And just remember guys that everybody makes theirs differently. So comment below and let us know exactly how you make your ginger beer. So now we are going to sweeten. So I'm just going to add in the sugar. Once you would have added in the sugar, at this point, the ginger beer is warm. I am just going to stir it until the sugar is melted. And of course, you want to taste it for flavor. Um, you know, some people like them a like it a little bit sweet, some people not so sweet. So you do what you think your palate can handle. So I'm going to continue to do that and come back to show you the next step. Once I would have sweetened the ginger beer, I am next going in with some vanilla extract and that basically helps with the flavor profile of the beer. Next, I'm just going to stir it until it is evenly distributed throughout and we are going to allow it to cool completely. This can be served very chilled. You want it to be served very chilled and of course, if you haven't had the time to chill it, you use a lot of ice cubes. And of course you store it in a very tight container in your fridge this is the end product of our ginger beer and this is what it looks like i really do hope that you did enjoy today's video don't forget to give us a like a comment a share and also subscribe if you have not done so as yet so i'm just going to pour myself a nice glass of ginger beer and i am going to enjoy it again guys merry christmas to you and i really do hope that you try this recipe and let us know in the comment section below until the next time see you bye